take a deep breath in and as you breathe in just imagine breathing in a resourceful feeling of relaxation and as you exhale just get a sense that tension stress worries are leaving your body in your outward breath meaning that breath by breath you're able to go deeper and deeper relaxed now I want you to use the power of your imagination to imagine that you are in a picturesque valley imagine there is a beautiful stream with rocks and you can see that stream cutting into the hillside surrounded by perhaps mountains and rolling hills and there's something about the trickle of the water that you can hear as it cascades over the rocks that just enables you to go deeper and deeper relaxed now as you breathe in and breathe out I want you to imagine that you're actually there by that stream hearing the water but also feeling the breeze on your skin seeing the blue sky the sunshine being surrounded by the beauty of this incredible landscape it then dawns on you that you're in a part of the world where it's known for deposits of gold and I want you to find a part of the stream where the water cascades into a pool that then continues to flow downstream and in that pool you can see pebbles rock silt sand I want you to get a sense that every grain every stone represents a thought I want you to imagine that the stream of water flowing down carries with it deposits of this silt this sand this stones these pebbles some are small some are larger which represents your reality that day in day out you're having a constant flow of thoughts I want you to get a sense that some of your thoughts are valuable some are just observations and some have no value whatsoever perhaps you've been surprised at the inane or silly nature of just some of your thoughts someone could think for example of a a penguin that's colored pink falling over on some ice that doesn't mean there's any value in that thought doesn't mean they have to do anything with that thought it just means that as humans we have a constant flow of thoughts and I want you to get a sense that thoughts have value proportionate to their usefulness I want you to imagine perhaps you're standing there in that stream with what looks like a sieve a pan the ability to capture the silt the rocks the pebbles as the water cascades through and I want you to get a sense that you have the ability to filter out thoughts that are valuable and useful from those thoughts that are just thoughts and here's the thing no matter what you think in any one point in time the stream will always flow you can guarantee that whatever you think now there will be further thoughts an hour from now a day from now a week from now some of your thoughts represent ideas 
some of your thoughts represent things that you're grateful for that you really value in your life and just by thinking about those things doesn't it make you feel good to acknowledge that they're in your life these are small nuggets of gold the value is the emotion that it brings and a good idea could lead to a great decision and a great decision could take your life in a different direction that gives you more amazing experiences so a good idea could be valuable i want you to get a sense that even in a criticism those complaints those niggling thoughts of you could have done better why did you do that could also have value but not in their current form i want you to get a sense that when jewelers make gold jewelry they don't provide it to a customer in the same form that it was discovered it gets melted down molded transformed into something else and from this point forward i want you to imagine that in a criticism negative self talk are potentially nuggets of gold but your objective is to filter out the genuine nuggets from those that perhaps seem like they're valuable but really aren't imagine that the function of any kind of criticism or negative self talk is for you to get better just imagine an incompetent football coach yelling at kids run faster play better the intention is good even if the execution is bad and i want you to get a sense that how can you improve the relationship with that part of your mind that is providing you with those opportunities to improve opportunities to assess to make changes to keep what's good and to evolve what could improve even more i want you to get a sense that a thought is just a thought even a thought's ability to create an emotion is purely based on whether or not that thought resonates with the values and beliefs that you hold about yourself already if you have a fear and insecurity a thought could come up and make you feel bad but even that is an opportunity to wonder is that belief i have about myself true is it useful is it valuable or am i still thinking about myself the way i did many years ago when i was a different person I want you to get a sense that there you are in that beautiful stream filtering out the silt the stones the sand and the pebbles and then you're left with bright gleaming shiny little nuggets of gold but this gold is only valuable if you do something with it and i wonder How much more value can you get from your life if you turned what was perceived to be negative self-talk into powerful profound change Maybe you've heard of the ancient alchemists that spent a lifetime trying to turn lead into gold don't you have the opportunity to do that i want you to imagine that any time that you can take a negative thought a criticism and polish that and evolve that and change that to a decision or a change of perspective to make that pain turns to something very valuable and precious for you i want you to get a sense that from this point forward 
There is no negative self-talk. There is just thoughts and self-talk. If it's perceived to be not useful, it just becomes the sand and the silt and the pebbles that you discard. And if it's valuable, then it becomes the gold that elevates your life to whole new levels of standards that give you more of what you desire in life. In which case, can there really be any negative self-talk? It's either a minor distraction that just gets put back in the stream that flows downstream far away from where you are, or it's a nugget of gold that you can work with and turn into something valuable and precious. Either way you win. So long as you're there to filter out the thoughts, to keep what's good, and the thoughts that are really important, the most precious gold, will be the ones that even if you miss it as it flows down the stream, it will simply come back round again. It's your intuition giving you intelligence to make a change. And if you ignore it, it will just come back round again, giving you a further opportunity to identify it for what it really is. A golden opportunity. I want you to imagine leaving that stream, but having a little pouch that you pour your nuggets of gold into, realizing that everything valuable in your life came from a thought. The things that are most precious to you were connected to a thought. But not all thoughts turned into precious things. I want you to think of your best decisions, what you're most grateful for, your best ideas, and they're all thoughts that turned into value. In which case, don't you want more of those thoughts to pass through that stream so you get more opportunities to find those nuggets of gold? It's now time to return to the present, but take that gold with you. Find yourself back in your body, listening to my voice firmly in the present. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes. Get a sense that you're in your own physical body right now. As I now count from one to ten to awaken you. Starting to count. One, two, three, waking up. Four, five, six, more alert. Seven, eight, open your eyes, open your eyes. 9, 10, wide awake, wide awake, wide awake. 